Hi. Hello. <laughs> Welcome back to Tays and DC's Science Lab. So today we're going to do self-inflating balloons. So all you need balloons, uh, black up soda, and vinegar, and any bottle you've got laying around at home. So I just had this one at home. So I just rinsed it out with some water. So all you need to do is take the lid off it, pop some of your vinegar into the bottle, and so you want to be able to and now it. At least about that much. About that much. I don't even know how much that is, but just it's like about that. like two fingers, fingers width from the bottom. You know what we need actually? <laughs> Hold the phone. <laughs> okay. So you're gonna next unwrap your balloon. So this one balloon. Stretch it out. So, black cup soda, that can be your job of pouring it in. Mm -hmm. So we've got a funnel. Okay, so you're going to pour the black cup soda into here very slowly. And if the black cup soda is not going down, we've just got like a little thing to help it go down the tube. Sides can get a little bit messy. Sure can. Some more please. You want to fill the balloon up most of the way. And as you may know <laughs> what vinegar and bicarb soda do together, as you've seen in our volcano video, it likes to fierce. Fun fact, do you know what bicarb soda is good for? Getting rid of the smell out of your fridge. There you go. I think it's bicarb soda. <laughs> okay, so now what you want to do is pinch where the bicarb soda is, so pinch the top and just twist it, just like that. So once you flip it upside down, it's obviously not going to go in until we want it to. Exactly. Put the balloon over the top and then un in your what's it called? Untwist it. Untwist it. And let it all go. Tap it to get all the bicarb out. And as you can see, it inflates it. And then once give it a bit of a twist around, pinch the top of it, pop her off, tie it up. And the balloon's really heavy as well. Yes it is. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you all next week with a new experiment. So yeah, bye. How cool is that?